Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division. Really amazing thing to watch. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting! This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Body out of Atlanta, Georgia, the free. And now introducing his opponent, fighting! This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time. And it is gonna go down right now. And we are underway at United Center here in Chicago, Illinois. Land of that one. Nice jab. That's a really strong leg kick there by Lee. Right hand upstairs. Rock him, shock him out of the shoot here. Oh, that kick is good by Lee. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. He's back up. Going orthodox now. The kick lands. That's a nice clean shot. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Got to find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. And now he's working from full mount. He lands a hammer fist. He postures into place. Reversal and into half guard. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Nice punch to the body. Big punch from the top. Trying to pass here. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. And he connects with the punch. Big punch from the bottom. Lands a good shot from the bottom. He's putting his hands down on the thighs. He's looking to pass. Nice hammer fist. Good punch. He tries to pass here, but gets shut down. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Punch is blocked. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. 
Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, he got cracked with the jab there, Joe, and his head is firmly on the center line, the one place it really can't afford to be. He's showing some vulnerability here by leaning right into his opponent's range. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here. Good combination so far from both men. Watch the shot here, Joe. And he eats a right hand there. Big power shot there. Oh, going to the head kick now, it's good. Doing an excellent job blocking here. Yeah. 90 seconds to go in round one. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Nice shot. Lee gets tagged by the kick there. He couldn't have liked that too much, Joe. When a southpaw fighter is facing the orthodox fighter, it opens up the back left kick for the southpaw fighter, which lands on their liver. It's a very vulnerable area and a huge advantage to fighting southpaw. Back to the left hand now, but unable to connect, Joe. Oh, nice body shot. Good kick to the body. Landed that punch flush. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Joe, once again, they clinch. Nice, very nicely done. 30 seconds now to go in round one. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Look in the clinch there is good by Lee. Body shot. The battle for hooks continues. He's got some other hooks now. Oh, nice single. Look at that. It looks oh, to me oh. like he's trying to turn towards either side. All right, listen, you did good that round, but I need you to do a little bit better. I need you to avoid that take. And here's a nice kick to the body that lands. And here's another kick to the body. And here's one more perfectly placed kick to the body. Big round. Brittany Palmer in the building. process, I guess, in that first round. Entertaining action on both sides. Nothing that wowed the crowd necessarily, Joe, but your thoughts ultimately on what we saw over those first five rounds. He's doing a great job of mixing things up here. Tries for a low single. Oh, landed another strike to his opponent's liver. He continues to target that area and looks to buckle him once again. Lee gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. And there's a takedown attempt. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combinations, and that has served to keep his opponent in this fight. So let's see if he can change up the tempo a little bit with his strikes and try to put together a combination that is more damaging to his opponent. Oh, he got cracked. Landing some big punches from this position. Beautiful punch. He's in half guard. Lands a big shot from the bottom. Now he's in guard. Excellent posture. doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Look at this. He's out of it.
Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Oh, he caught him with that right hand. Nice shot to the head. And back to full guard. Oh, pretty good work here from the bottom, Joe, as he tags him with that punch. Tries to pass, but can't. Showing some good defense here on the ground by controlling that arm. Mount again. Postures up here. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Nice sweep. Looking to pass. a pretty effective work, Joe. Lands a strike there from the looking bottom. Looking for nice the neck. There. He's looking for a guillotine choke. He's in full guard here. What he needs to do to get the guillotine is first, he's got to throw his arm over the back of his opponent's head. Then he's got to slide his That's head. It. That's it. That's it. do it. Set it up. Close it off. Got the choke for the tap. So yeah, it came down to tap out or go to sleep, and his opponent chose the former. The choke was clearly sunk in deep, perfect technique, and ultimately that is one of the bigger wins of his career. He gets it done by submission here tonight. Let's see it again here. Deep guillotine choke, full guard for the tap. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at three minutes, five seconds of round number two. To fight the winner by tap out due to a guillotine choke, Bruce the Dragon. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers since coming to the UFC. And more often than not, he has had an answer for all styles. Bruce Lee with authority is your winner here tonight.